We also have a 360 following another story. Words of gratitude from the 21-year-old college student whose life was saved by a group of strangers. You probably have seen this amazing video earlier this week in Utah. Bystanders joined together to lift a burning car off Brandon Wright, who was trapped underneath. He had been riding the motorcycle, which was crashed into the car and on fire. The crash happened when a BMW pulled out of a parking lot in front of Wright, who was on the motorcycle. One bystander dragged him out from underneath. He's now in the hospital, recovering from leg and pelvis fractures, burned feet, smoke inhalation. You actually see his foot is on fire when they first pull it out of that vehicle. Today, Wright spoke to reporters from the hospital bed. Take a look. I just, I just wanted to thank all the heroes that put their lives on the line to save mine. Um, forever in debt. I can't thank them enough. I, w I would like to meet all the all the people that that rescued me. I hope they'll hope hope I can soon. That car could have blown up at any time, and just how how brave they are is crazy. I. Just, yeah, I'm forever in debt to them. I came to for about five seconds while I was under the car. And I just screamed a couple times and like threw up some blood and that was lights out again. And I, I woke up to a, a man in a green shirt just kneeling over me and trying to get me to talk and keeping me awake. And really like to meet him too, just cause he did not, did not let me close my eyes and go back to sleep. Really, without him, I don't know if I would have hung in there. I've always thought that life is extremely precious, but having this experience just makes it that much more precious to me. I mean, I, sh I should have died several times, really. I should have died when I hit the pavement. I should have died when I hit the car. I should have died when the car burst into flames. But I, I didn't for some reason. and. I mean, that just makes life that much more precious to me. Brandon also said he usually wears a motorcycle helmet, but wasn't that day because he was just going short distance to the computer lab at Utah State University, where he's a graphic design major. He says when he gets better, he'll definitely get another motorcycle and the best helmet he can find.